A rocket alighting with energy, its engines blazing, gradually ascending from the launch pad. As it gained momentum, the machine's path became ever more ferocious, hurtling skyward on a fierce, brilliant blue fire, soaring to an altitude of 10,000 meters. However, controllers started slowing its descent, and the rocket began to drop, dangerously falling from its lofty height. Despite the looming disaster, this was all part of a well-designed scheme to evaluate the Starship's capabilities for maneuvering through the atmosphere and executing a smooth landing. SpaceX had undertaken this rigorous examination twice before, having mapped out the Earth-bound route of the descending Starship, now tilting on its side. As soon as the Starship reignited its engines, what seemed like an Earth-shattering impact with the ground changed as the rocket redirected for the sky. It was a carefully calculated move that enabled the rocket's engines to guide it back to the sky again. The three engines burned a fiery, mesmerizing blue as they controlled the spaceship back to the landing pad. And finally, with an air of surreal calmness, the starship settled gently on the ground. SpaceX has been eagerly anticipating this moment after two previous failures in which the starship crashed spectacularly and dramatically exploded, the third attempt promised to be the charm. The rocket settled onto the launch pad with a slight lean. The announcer's voice boomed out, celebrating each successful stage of the test flight. It seemed like everything was going as planned until it wasn't. In a sudden and shocking turn of events, the SpaceX starship blew up into pieces. The explosion was devastating, a violent burst of fiery destruction that sent twisted fragments of blackened metal scattering across the launch pad. The starship was reduced to a mangled wreck and its massive frame crumpled on the ground. Further analysis of the starship showed that there had been an unextinguished fire after the flight and that the landing had been too forceful. But Elon Musk is nothing if not relentless in his pursuit of success. Undeterred by the recent failure, he tried again just three weeks later. This time, however, the outcome was no different. The starship exploded mid-air, raining debris down around the launch pad again. After all these failed attempts, the starship has only been tested once after the explosion. In the first quarter of 2021, Starship was scheduled to take off again, swiftly traverse the atmosphere, and landed safely back on the launch pad. Although the Starship didn't violently explode again, a small fire burned for a few minutes after landing, but it was quickly put out. This achievement prompted Elon Musk to declare a victory as he announced that an orbital flight would take place in a matter of months. Unfortunately, this did not come to pass. The process of achieving orbit has proved far more challenging than Elon Musk had initially imagined. It has been more than two years since the last test flight of the Starship. However, as SpaceX gradually draws closer to accomplishing an orbital flight, which could take place in 2023, the world's most successful spaceship is once again commanding attention. The CEO of SpaceX, Elon Musk, has an unshakable vision of establishing a fully-fledged metropolis on the red planet Mars. This utopian city would be self-sufficient and home to as many as one million people. This will transform humans into multi-planetary species. SpaceX's Starship is by far the most challenging goal that Elon Musk has set his mind upon, and it probably will keep him occupied for the next 30 years. The powerful engines of the Starship will not only propel the spaceship's greater mass into orbit than ever before, but they will also allow for the construction of new massive space telescopes, space stations, and even cities on Mars. If Musk's claims happen as planned, the Starship could herald an era of rocket-based transportation systems, allowing people to travel from one country to another in less than an hour. During SpaceX's Starship Progress update in 2022, Musk explained the purpose behind the Starship's mission. He claimed that the Starship's mission is essential to the future of existence, given that anything can happen at any time. Even dinosaurs have gone extinct. In addition to the Starship's significance as an insurance policy, he also spoke about his desire to create something inspirational. 
You cannot live day to day trying to solve life issues as there has to be something exciting and inspiring too. Musk's mission is to create a full-scale city on Mars' surface, a city that is open to the general populace and not just to researchers, scientists, and crew members. Thinking about financing a one-way ticket to Mars may sound like science fiction, but Elon Musk believes it could become a reality. At a 2016 conference, Musk suggested that labor shortages on Mars would lead to economic opportunities for the first settlers, who could repay their loans through work in industries like pizzerias and iron factories. If Musk's vision of a self-governing city on Mars comes to fruition, it would be a pioneering experiment in human civilization. However, the terms and conditions of the Starlink internet service released in October 2020 suggest that the city would operate under its own rules, potentially clashing with the 1967 Outer Space Treaty stating that the launch origin country is responsible for all space activities. The implications of this contradiction are unclear, but David Anderman, SpaceX's former general counsel, has suggested that the two documents could be on a collision course. To build a self-sustaining city on Mars, Musk estimates it would require approximately 1 million tons of cargo at $100,000 per ton using the Starship. This puts the cost of the mission at $100 billion, assuming no other expenses. However, Musk also estimates that it could rise to as much as $10 trillion. But Musk isn't stopping at just one city. According to Paul Wooster, principal Mars development engineer for SpaceX, the company could build multiple cities on the planet. Wooster's vision involves starting with an outpost and growing it into a bigger sized base, then eventually into a village, a town, and ultimately multiple cities on Mars. However, Starship has to prove its worth in other ways until it can ferry people to Mars. Some of its uses are starting to become evident. NASA has contracted SpaceX to use Starship as a landing vehicle on the moon, and if successful, it will play a crucial role in the upcoming American return to the moon. The Starship has been capturing the attention of many individuals and private entities alike. Jared Isaacman, an American billionaire, demonstrated his seriousness about his interest in the Starship's mission by purchasing the first crewed flight aboard the Starship last year. While the final date for takeoff has yet to be confirmed, Isaac Mann's interest in Starship remains unwavering. But that's not all. The Dear Moon project by Japanese entrepreneur Yusaka Mezawa is even more spectacular than Isaac Mann's venture. Mezawa plans to transport a crew of musicians and artists around the moon using the Starship spacecraft. Starship will also serve to transport satellites and cargo into space. SpaceX's Starlink constellation of internet satellites will be one of the first beneficiaries of Starship. The second generation of Starlink satellites, each too massive to fit on pre-existing rockets, will be transported using Starship. A Japanese business planned to use the rocket to orbit a communications satellite last year as commercial interest in the project increased. The question that remains is whether Starship will genuinely affect meaningful change. Even if it does, will it be enough? At first glance, this may seem like a foolish question. After all, have we not already seen Starship's plan to fly crews of astronauts and facilitate the construction of cities on Mars? But the real question is whether Starship will revolutionize space travel or not. Flying artists around the moon is just not enough. Let's take the question of Mars as an example. Elon Musk has many plans for Starship and Mars, which I've explained. Starship could make this possible, but Musk would need more than one Starship to achieve his goals. Furthermore, Starship is only a means to transport things to Mars. More technology and investment would be necessary to inhabit another planet. Life support systems and bases constructed and built to endure the severe environment would be required. Colonists would need a reliable food source and protection from sandstorms, extreme temperatures, and long periods when Earth is on the other side of the sun. The complexities of space exploration are numerous and difficult to understand. One such example is the idea of traveling to Mars, a process that proves to be challenging and complex. The Starship spacecraft may hold the key to unlocking this challenge, but it alone cannot go that far distance. 
Even optimistic viewers acknowledge that the project will take decades, if not centuries, to fully realize its mission, if it ever does at all. Turning our attention to the moon, we find a more achievable objective. Starship may find steady employment assisting NASA's missions and potentially helping establish lunar bases. However, this goal is hindered by public funding constraints. Congress is unlikely to appropriate the necessary sums to launch Starship more than a few times every year. While NASA may ultimately pivot towards using the Starship as the central vehicle for their moon program, it is looking improbable. Cargo transport represents a potential avenue where Starship can truly shine. Starlink in particular appears to have a dire need for this rocket. Although the demand for launching cargo into space remains relatively small, the capacity that Starship is bringing to an already saturated industry is vast. SpaceX is already allocating more than 50% of its launches to Starlink, leaving the remainder to be split among paying clients. It's conceivable that Starship may end up being an oversupply of capacity for the limited demand that remains and may be destined to suffer a similar fate to that of the Falcon Heavy. At present, the applications for Starship seem restricted. Although the availability of an affordable, super-heavy launch vehicle will undoubtedly make a difference in the long run, just like the Falcon 9 revolutionized tiny satellite applications, Starship has the potential to transform larger-scale opportunities. The Starship would streamline the construction of commercial space stations, an area that NASA is encouraging private firms to undertake. It would also simplify the implementation of ambitious projects, such as orbiting solar farms or expansive satellite constellations. No matter how beautiful projects of this nature sound, they require meticulous planning, often years, if not decades, in advance. Space agencies, researchers, and engineers are just thinking of how they may leverage the power that the Starship offers. The potential for innovation and progress is undoubtedly present, but first, SpaceX must demonstrate that it can deliver on its promise. And that brings us to the end of this video. At this rate, do you think Elon Musk's confidence will eventually pay off? Or is the SpaceX mission just a hypnotic charm? Let us know in the comments section.